Hey there! As a property manager, you know that scaling your company is essential to keeping up with increasing demand. But how do you go about doing that? To scale a property management business, you need a technology platform that can streamline different parts of the business process, such as marketing automation, rental listing syndication, and online rent collection. It is important to delegate tasks to other staff rather than DIY on your own. You should also have standardized procedures so your team can replicate the process easily. But before taking any action, it is important to assess your capacity and determine if you have the resources and staff needed to manage a larger portfolio. If not, look for ways to increase your capacity through outside partnerships, such as hiring more property managers or investing in new technology that can help automate some tasks. You also need to have a good understanding of the current financial situation of your company so that you can determine whether or not scaling at this point is a feasible choice. This is Anna from Real Estate Career HQ. In this video, I will outline practical ideas for scaling your property management company. As you try to scale your business, it is critical to know which types of properties and tenants you want to target. Do you want to focus on single-family homes, apartments, or commercial properties? If you try to be all things to everyone, it will be challenging to come up with a systematic approach to running your business. After all, the maintenance supports, customer services, pricing and services could vary among different niches. To give you an example, one of the key successful elements of McDonald's is its ability to focus on a well-defined target market, people who are looking for a quick, affordable meal. This focus allows the company to keep its menu simple and efficient while delivering a consistent product no matter which location you visit. By having this focus, they can easily replicate their business model across different locations without losing sight of what made them successful in the first place. When you know who your target market is, you can come up with a plan for marketing and advertising that will help you attract more of those types of tenants or property owners. Before scaling your business, it is important to assess your company's capacity for this kind of growth. Do you have enough staff and resources to manage a larger portfolio of properties? If not, you may need to consider hiring additional property managers or investing in new technology that can help automate some tasks. What is the cash flow and funding reserve situation of the company? What is the profit margin per customer? How much do you need to invest to scale the business operation? Will there be any ongoing cost? And what is the expected ROI? The first step of your business is to find clients, which would be the landlords in your servicing area. Although there are different ways you can do this, such as attending local landlord association meetings or going door to door in neighborhoods, those are not scalable marketing methods because it requires you to be constantly on the run. And once you're not actively engaging in those activities, your business will stop growing. A more scalable approach would be to focus on online marketing methods such as Google or Facebook ads, email outreach campaigns, or social media marketing. These strategies allow you to leverage technology and reach a massive but targeted group of potential clients all at once. At Real Estate Career HU, we like creating email campaigns. These are sequences of automatic email series that we drafted ahead of time. After site visitors subscribe to our e-newsletter, they will receive them without our involvement. So after finishing this video, if you want more resources to run your property management business, be sure to hop onto our site and subscribe to our e-newsletter. A beautifully designed website indeed can help your branding and capture leads. But we all know that most clients would have questions before they go on board with you. Rather than always answering the same set of questions repeatedly, it's wise to have an FAQ section on your site. In there, potential clients can find all the information they would need in order to make a decision. For example, how often will you inspect the property? What is the monthly property management fee? What is the tenant screening process? Which date of the month will the owner receive the rent payment? You'll want to have a streamlined process for collecting and reviewing applications so that you can quickly identify the best candidates. Many property management software can incorporate the online application into your website. Rather than manually going through multiple emails back and forth, sending out applications, and collecting application fees from prospective renters, the entire process can be done without your involvement. Some of these property management software often have screening tools. In just a few clicks, it helps you run a credit check, criminal background check, and eviction history report. This can give you all the information you need to make a well-informed decision about who to approve for tenancy. 
You may provide an online portal where tenants and landlords can submit maintenance requests, pay rent, or view important documents and information about their rental unit. This can save you a lot of time and effort while also providing tenants with a convenient way to stay up to date on everything related to their rental unit. We spoke to our content producer, Jacob Coleman, and the property management firm that he hires provides him with an owner portal through a third-party platform. In there, he can view all the transaction history, invoices, and receipts. When it comes to tax season, he can easily download them without having to reach out to his property manager. Also, all communication logs are securely secured in the portal, eliminating all the you said this and I said this confusion. Receiving rent payments by check can be a hassle for both property managers and tenants. For property managers, it can be difficult to track when the rent is due and chase down late payments. It is also a hassle to process a pile of checks every month. For tenants, writing and mailing a check each month can be a time-consuming task. So to streamline your process and reduce human error, you should consider implementing an online rent payment procedure. This way, the payment can be automatically deducted from the tenant's bank account or credit card. Not only will this make your life easier, but it will also provide a better experience for your tenants. If you are an artist, you may paint each picture differently, and each one will have a unique style. However, if you want a successful business in the property management field, you must have a repeatable and trackable system that your team can follow. Your company cannot afford to reinvent the wheel each time you get a new client. You will quickly become bogged down with inefficiency. Document your procedures and write down the steps that you and your team take when completing each task, no matter how small. Because if it isn't written down, it can be easily forgotten or done incorrectly. With a documented procedure, you can hold yourself and your team accountable and prevents confusion or mistakes. This will help ensure consistency in your work, prevents confusion or mistakes, make improvement down the road and manage your client's expectation. As you're trying to scale your business, you will quickly realize that you can't do everything on your own. You will need to build a team of employees or partners who can help you manage the day-to-day -day operations of your business. For example, a client relationship manager to handle customer inquiries, a leasing agent to show properties and sign leases, a maintenance team to take care of repairs and upkeep, an attorney or paralegal to handle any legal issues that may arise. One of the most important things you can do when building a team is to make sure that everyone shares your company values. This will help ensure that everyone is working towards the same goals and that each team member is passionate about providing excellent customer service. Although you need procedure on all processes, try not to micromanage your team. You should hire or partner with professionals that are experts in their field. Someone who is even more knowledgeable and capable than you. Communicate with them what you want to achieve and let them do their job. This will free up your time so you can focus on the big picture tasks that are necessary for scaling your business. So here are the ways to scale a property management company. Automation, standardized procedures, and building a solid team would be the way to grow a business. If you want more resources on running a property management company, be sure to check out our blog. In there, we cover a wide range of topics such as how to find the right tenants, what to do when a tenant stops paying rent, how to write a rental ad that attract high quality tenants, income updates of property managers, and many more. Once again, this is Anna from Real Estate Career HQ. I hope you enjoy this clip. See you next time.